my name is Lydia and I'm the Children and Families Minister at Chalfont St Peter's Parish Churches. And I'm with you for a brand new series taking us all the way through the season of Lent. Each week we'll have a new video, we'll set ourselves some challenges and we'll learn a little bit more about what this season is for and what it means for us in our day-to-day -day life. We're going to be using the Live Lent booklet which comes from the Church of England and you can get one online, all good Christian retailers, or you can grab one from us at the parish church. So, Lent starts on Wednesday, but I'm usually a bit more interested in the day before Lent, which is Pancake Day. Now, I'm not really quite sure why we have Pancake Day. Did Jesus eat pancakes, I wonder? Let's find out. No, I've looked and looked all the way through the Bible and I find no reference to Jesus eating pancakes anywhere, even in the ancient Greek, which is what the Bible was first written in. What I did find though was Jesus fasting, which is giving up food and drink, for 40 days. Now Lent is 40 days long and this is where we get the idea of people giving something up. The whole idea then of Pancake Day is to use up what you've got in the cupboard before a season of going without. But how do you choose what to give up for Lent? Do you have to give up everything like Jesus did? Let's have a little think about that together. The whole aim of Lent is to grow in your relationship with Jesus and to become more like him. So that's why people tend to give something up. It's not about seeing how long you can go without something like chocolate or sweets. Which, to be honest, I don't eat very much of them, so I don't think I have a problem with that. <clears throat> the whole idea is to give up something that you spend a lot of time doing or a lot of money on, and then you use that money or that time to help somebody else. It might be if you give up chocolate, for example, you spend the money that you would have spent on chocolate on helping the poor. Or if you gave up something you spend a lot of time on, for example, watching television or going on the internet online, you might choose to spend that time praying or going out and helping other people. So here is your very first Lent challenge. Now I think I need a little bit of challenge music for when I say Lent challenge, so let's try that again. Lent challenge. So your first Lent challenge is to decide what you would like to give up for Lent this year. Have a think about something that you think it might be good to try living without and how you're going to use that time or that money to help somebody else and to grow in your relationship with Jesus. Have a chat with the people around you, with your family. They might have some ideas and you could even try doing something together as a family. Good luck and I will see you next time where we'll look at the next part of our Lent journey together. But for now, I'm off to go and make some pancakes. See ya.